So often meetings are made really ineffective and far too long because people sit around the table kind of workshopping and micromanaging work that doesn't actually need to be done by the team. Hi, I'm Dr. Leanne Davey and I find this all the time. Teams where one or two people could take an issue and take it away and actually come to a resolution, but instead 10 people sitting around debate about, well, we could do this, oh, that'll never work. What a waste of time. So what if you're in one of these meetings and someone starts getting way into the weeds on something and you think, oh my goodness, this is not our issue to solve. What can you do? Well, jumping in with, are you kidding me? Why are we talking about this? That's not likely to get you a good outcome. But what you can do is use some of my tried and true pivot questions to actually get the team adding value on things that are useful and beneficial and the actual purview of a team. So if someone starts jumping into a solution for a problem, one of the great questions you can ask is just, what do you think we still need to solve for? What do we need to solve for? So instead of telling us the solution, you focus that person's attention on, well, the reason I'm suggesting this thing is because I think we haven't solved for, I was in a meeting last week and exactly this thing happened. Somebody was talking about a, a new technology they were using and one of the people in the room said, well, we're gonna have to do it so that when this iterates, we change it in this and this way. And the tech folks are thinking like, dude, you have no idea how this code is written. But instead, he could have just said, we really need to make sure we solve for what happens if we have new iterations or changes. Super useful. The other things you can do is you can say, okay, um, when we're solving for iterations, what would, it, what would good look like? What would it have to include? Those are useful questions as well. Who could solve for that? Who's the best person to deal with that? You could ask questions like, um, you know, what other parts of the process would they need to take into consideration? Or what are some of the watchouts that you would want the team to be following? All of these pivots help you go from a conversation that just goes right into the weeds <laughs> into something where you stay up at a helpful level, you use the team's time to do what I call commissioning. So we're commissioning a solution. This is what we want solved for. This is what a good solution looks like. Here's who we want involved in crafting that solution. Another great question you can ask at that point is, okay, if we have these folks go off and work on a solution, what would make them escalate? What are the situations where you wouldn't want them to handle it on their own? So all of these pivots go from a team spending too much time trying to define how to solve something, which is micromanagement, and instead focuses them on what needs to be solved. It's gonna make a huge difference, take hours of meeting time away, and leave the people whose work it is empowered to get the job done. I'm Dr. Leanne Davey, here to help you get the team that you deserve.